This video series is designed to walk you through using the ad hoc reporting tool in Infinite Campus. This is part two, field selection. Field selection is the most important part of creating an ad hoc filter as it tells Infinite Campus what information you're looking for. We'll begin where we left off, having just added these five fields to our filter. These fields are recommended to be included in any filter you build. The first four, last name, first name, middle name, and grade, provide baseline information about what students are included in your filter and report. Active today is what will allow us to limit our results to only students who are currently enrolled with us and not show students who have withdrawn. We'll talk more about active today in part three. At this point, I'd like to highlight the save and test button found down here. While you are working on creating your filter, you can use save and test as you go to make sure your work is saved and to generate a list of the information you've included so far. If we click on save and test now, a new window will pop up and this is what our filter is going to report to us right now. As you can see, I've created a test site with only a handful of students in it so we can uh, we can see what it looks like. Right now we have the student last name, student first name, student middle name, student grade, and student active today. If you're satisfied with what it shows you or if you need to make changes, you can just close this window and it will return you to the uh, ad hoc query wizard. As you've seen, these five fields will give us a basic list of each student enrolled at the current time. If we want to add more information to this report, we'll need to locate the field containing that information. Unfortunately, locating the field that contains the information you're looking for is the biggest barrier you'll encounter using ad hoc reporting. Each category on the left can be expanded, and you will see dozens of fields in each one. Some of the categories have subcategories with dozens more fields. Each of these fields corresponds to a piece of information stored in Infinite Campus, and they are named using database conventions, so it's not always obvious what information they contain. I'd like to highlight a few of the categories that come up regularly when using ad hoc filters. Student demographics contains the information in IC related to the student as a person. We've already seen that we can find the student's name, grade, and active today status here, but we can also find information about the student ID number, ethnicity, and language preferences. The second category I'd like to highlight is student census. This includes contact information, relationships, household, and address information. Another category is learner. This category contains information related to the student as a student in our school, including enrollment information, program flags, and schedule. The last category we'll take a look at is student grading. Under grading detail, we can find information related to the students in progress or posted grades. There are two resources available to you to help you find the field you're looking for. The first is the filter by box found above the field selection box. You can use this box to search for a word and see if there are any fields that include that word. For example, if you can't quite remember where the active today field is located, you can enter that in the filter by box and search for it. After a few moments of completing the search, it will show you any category that contains that term. And when you expand that category, it will show you the fields that contain that term. When you finished with the search, you can click clear. And after a few moments, it will return you to the category list. The second option is a page in the campus community that lists all of the fields available and where they can be found broken down by category. As you can see, this is a massive list of every single field available to you in ad hoc reporting and where it can be found. I'll put a link to this page in the description below the video. To show by way of example, let's say that I wanted to create a list of students who have an active 504 plan. I've already included the five baseline fields, so now we need to figure out how to get this list to include information about the 504. We know that 504 displays on the student page in the flag section, so let's search for flag in the filter by box. This is related to information about a student, so learner is a good place to start. And here we have a category that's called program flags. When we expand that, it will give us all of the flag information. All right, we're looking for just a student who has a 504, so we definitely want the name of the flag. 
and we only want students who are active with their 504. So we will include the start date and end date. Now, if we click on save and test, we'll see that our ad hoc now has some additional fields over on the right here. After active today, we have program name, program start date, and program end date. You can see here that it includes any student with any kind of flag, but we do see that we have found a student with a 504. Upon further reflection, we can realize that we don't actually need the start date. We don't need to know that 10th grader started their 504 in 2014. All we need to do is make sure that the end date is empty indicating that it's still active. So now that we've gained that information, we can close our test and take a look here. We don't really need the start date, so we're gonna remove that. You can click, the, click on any field and click the left arrow to remove it from your, from your uh, filter, and then click on save and test. Now we can see we just have the flag name and the end date and we do have a student that has a 504. This will conclude part two, field selection. In part three, we'll cover filter parameters and explain how to limit the output to show only the data we're looking for.